Hello, hello, everybody. We are going to continue our Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky Adventures. And we'll see how things go. Last time... Well, we ran into a bit of crashing issues. Well, not really crashing issues, but... Basically, you know, weird things happened where the game would freeze when we went up s to, to certain levels of a dungeon, but only randomly. Upon, like, certain dungeon generation. So, we'll just have to hope that it doesn't happen? Because I couldn't find, like, anything about it anywhere, so who knows? Who knows? It was weird. <laughs> it came late? No, no, not at all. We just started. <laughs> But before we start, once again, a thanks to the people behind the Expanded Sky ROM hack slash mod for Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. I really like it. So make sure to go and give them some love. The link to the mod itself, ROM hack, shall be found in the description of all YouTube videos regarding this. <laughs> I just have a tendency to apologize a lot. Ah, oh, that's fine. And I just forgot, technically we do have the episode list. One of these days I'll have to begin with it. Straight up. But we shall continue for now. And see where we doth go. Because last time, what we did was... Went through the waterfall after all the crashing, freezing issues... And we learned that there's going to be an expedition. And that we need to be our very best, but Team Skull is probably going to get in our way. Because Team Skull is bastard. Let's see, I forget what our immediate plans were. Well, apparently we were going to go to... Drenched Bluff, but we need to make sure that we have, like, a... Rostberry. I forget if we... have Explore the town. Shall we shall double explore the town just in case. No bottles, that's fine. Make sure our... We also have our money on us, so I presume that either I forgot to turn my money in, or we did not explore the town. Do I have money here? Nope, we did not put our money away. I'm fairly certain that we already talked to them. Electivire is still not here. Jerk. Let me make sure my items are in order. We have the defense scarf, silver bow, uh, some apples. We do have a rostberry. And I need to remember... Yes, the life seed. I need to use that. Uh, you could have a saying... Uh, you could have a saying, sorry, unnecessary jar. It would be full by the day. That's funny. We all have our quirks. Hmm. Is there anything that I need to throw in? Uh, maybe throw in an orange berry and reviver seed into storage. We don't need to worry too much. It's just drenched bluff. So it shouldn't be that crazy. And that would mean the frostberry and life seed won't be too terrible to have along. And now we shall go put our money away. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Love the music in this game. The music is utterly fantastic. Now we shall go ahead and save. Just so that we can make sure that everything is nice and good. Make sure to take a sip of your tea before going on adventures so that things can be nice. Actually, what personality was the Silver Bow? I completely forget. I completely forget. Will it say? Nope, just says Energetic Aura, so who knows? Unless that is the personality. You have the Energetic Personality. But who knows? Up, well, off we go to the Drenched Bluff! We don't have any story missions to do. We just have to... Now I'm just going to head back into the world of every time we go up a staircase, I'm going to have a minor... 
minor fear every time that it happens. You have come to die. Goodbye. You fool. I feel like I'm overleveled for this place already. But before I forget, I'm gonna... Not heal seed. I almost used the heal seed. Life seed. And I shall eat it because... Me scared. Me utterly horrified. And since we're here in the safety area, I shall just go exploring all the places. Maximize our itemness. We shall annihilate you. Doesn't really matter, I'll just annihilate you too. As I wander this drenched bluff again, because I shall ramble. Today I woke up and my brain immediately gifted me just a random story idea for like, well, how to word it. Like, brain just gave me a full plotted out story arc for a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon fanfic. Meanwhile, I already have like five billion Pokemon. I am very disappointed in you, Silas. But, meanwhile, I already have five billion Pokemon Mystery Dungeon story ideas. I have my main one, which is super duper long, because I'm a windbag, even in my stories. Come here, Geodude. Get out of here. Thank you! And then you left the dungeon. You've completed a mission. Would you like to leave the dungeon? No, but I will make a save state just in case the universe decides to collapse upon me. I would like to complete expo complete exploring. I guess that technically is correct. But yeah, overall, I have lots of story ideas. I have a few smaller scale Pokemon Mystery Dungeon fanfic ideas rattling around in head. I actually finished a chapter yesterday. My Since it's a shorter form one, I plan on at least getting halfway through writing the entire thing as kind of motivation to myself, so I can have an upload schedule for that. And just see what happens. Have some fun with it. Get some writing experience. And that's the end of the dungeon, well, at least for this floor. I went the wrong way, and then he decided to die anyway. I originally thought I'd get the lonely type when I answered, honestly, because I'm an introvert. Ain't that a mood? Uh, do I want you? I guess we can come along. What kind of nickname should we give you? Hmm. But I got bravely, probably due to my wanting to go headfirst into danger. I forget what personality type I got when I did it honestly. Hmm. We shall call you Annie because you are ancient. You're probably not actually ancient, but you are to me. Come along, Annie. You are now going to join us on adventures, and by that, you're probably going to be stuck at the the cafe for five billion years. And you're already leveled up. You're already, you're already going on a good way. Oh yeah, level up. Oh, what was I? I got distracted by five billion things. Yeah, trying to make a whole upload schedule for that toy. Just to see how it goes. Especially because I have the issue where I jump around from story to story to story to story to story to story. Again and again and again, all over the place. And I need to fix that. Buckle down and actually finish some of my stories. But again, it doesn't help that I'm a windbag, so all of my stories end up just being long. And that, that Shellos is just going in a circle. Good for them. I also like doing, like, low-level dungeons. It allows me to gather items. Feels nice. It's a nice experience. It feels safe. We have reached a destination floor! We are coming to the rescue. 
the dog, the dog, and then the ancient shrimp bug. The water bug of doom. I do like that you can home in on enemies by pressing that button. And Annie grew to another level. Good for you. Dear God, I just looked at your health. If you took one hit, you would have died. <laughs> for a moment, I'm just like, wait a minute. What? I thought it was going to ask me to dump something out of my bag, but no, we just finished a mission. That was the thing we were looking for. Why would somebody lose an apple in a dungeon and go, I need to pay somebody probably vastly more than an apple is worth to go into a dungeon and find my apple? Maybe they just really like that apple. They have big plans for it. <laughs> Escort missions should have more experience because I did a four-star escort mission and only got 600 experience. That's a mood. Because they are disproportionately difficult, it feels like, so... You would expect to maybe get a bit more bang for your buck there. Just ever so slightly, like... Hey, I, I have to do a lot to keep this, this guy alive. He's gonna die at the drop of a hat. At least reward me. And the game's like, no. We don't think so. Escort missions are normal. And like, if it was just escorting a Pokemon through a normal place, sure. But usually it's Nightmare World. Once again, a very nice... In location. Oh, I like that they even have your, like, recruited Pokemon look around with you. That's nice. The fool doesn't even listen to tactics. Who needs tactics? <laughs> well, the player character can ignore tactics sometimes because you have strength. Your escortee? No, they, they definitely need, they need tactics. Why don't they have tactics? Thank you for delivering the Rossberry. Please accept this 1,500 pokey. And I get 150. That's just the way of life. Thank you for rescuing Shellos. To show my thanks, I want you to have my special band. And then it will be put into storage. And a P.E.K.K.A. scarf. Shall be put into storage. And a black gummy. Nice. Huzzah. Thank you for getting me the Big Apple. I own New York now. To show you my thanks, I want you to have my special band. I like to imagine that this was the same Geo dude that we rescued, and he just like had to come back for his for his apple. That apple is worth a lot of money and items, apparently. I don't believe it. Nom 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 nom. I really want to see HD versions of the end of the dungeons. Those would be nice. Those would look really good. We should get some sleep, too. Let's make tomorrow another good day, Neon. Okay, good night. The next morning. Up and at him! It's morning! Uh, good morning, Neon. Would you like to save your adventure? Yes, I would. Saving my adventure is very important to me. And three smiles go for miles. Okay, Pokemon, time to get to work. Hooray! Do you have orders for us? Hey, you two! Ah, is it sentry duty? Let's see, I need to get my Diglett voice back. Which Pokemon? Which Pokemon? I'm sorry, but I have something else I have to do today. Please take over my sentry duty again today. Bye! All right, let's do this! You've done this sentry duty thing once before, right? You'll be fine without me explaining the job. No problem. Good! Now let's get to work! Look up and do a good job! That voice is just going places. All right, look at the footprint, and then identify me. Let's see. You can only get two wrong, okay? Silas will keep an eye on things. Here comes a Pokemon. Check its footprint and tell me what it is. 
Uh, Swampert, no. Chimchar, no. Typhlosion. Vibrava? Uh, Typhlosion, I think? The footprint is Typhlosion's! Here, Jeff! Come on in, visitor! It looks like you're right! Here comes a Pokemon! Check its phone red! Tell me what it is! Circle? No, no. Spinda! Or is it Skitty? I need more info. Yep, definitely. The footprint is Spinda's! Heard ya! Come in, visitor! Lip, looks like you're right! Here comes a Pokemon! Check its footprint! Tell me what it is! Torterra, Lombre, Zangoose, I think. Zangoose. The footprint of Zangoose is... Heard ya! Come on in, visitor! It looks like you're right! Here comes a Pokemon! Check its footprint! Tell me what it is! What the fuck? Uh, Bellsprout. The footprint is Bellsprouts! Heard ya! Come in, visitor! It looks like you're right! Here comes a Pokemon! Uh, Lombre, Sandslash, Munchlax, Starly, I think Munchlax! Damn it! Then I don't know. Maybe Lombre? Lombre! The footprint is Lombre's! Heard ya! Come on in, visitor! It looks like you're right! Here comes a Pokemon! Uh, Cyndaquil, Chikorita, Spinda, Scyther? I think Scyther! The footprint is Scyther's! Heard ya! Come in, visitor! Yep, looks like you're right! Sorry to keep you waiting. Silas and Neon! That'll do it. Now get back to here. You've worked an honest day. Let me review your century duty performance. Your results were... Were well, perfect! We win. We are the victor. Ah, yes, this is impressive. You've beaten the previous high score. Excellent! We did it! Your effort will suddenly be rewarded. The reward will be special too. You two deserve an especially generous selection of rewards. And we got $400. And a P.E.K.K.A. scarf. And we'll send to storage. And a Reviver Seed. Well, I'm always down for some Reviver Seeds. But that's not the end of it. And a Max Elixir. Not bad. That, that might be nice to have for, like, importance things. Is it really okay to be rewarded this much? You two, keep that up! Yeah! I like that they introduced a little mini-game like that. It's just fun to do. It breaks up the flow, and just, it makes it nice. Now, will we have another day of do whatever, or will story strike? We should get some sleep, too. Let's make tomorrow another good day, Neon. Okay, good night. The next morning. Up and at him! It's morning! Uh, good morning, Neon. And remember to have your morning tea. So that life is nice and kind and good, yes. All right, let's see, will story strike or will this be another free day? Everyone, I have an announcement before we get down to work. Let me introduce our new allies. I already know who they are and they're gonna be evil. I'm gonna have to kill them. Honestly, I won't mind listening to your big ideas for uh, a Pokemon mystery dungeon comic. I have lots of ideas. Once I get to another dungeon, I'll start rambling because I have reading to do. Allies? What, more apprentices? Golly, I wonder what kind of Pokemon they are. Hey, over here, please. Ugh, what it stinks! Hey, it looks like rotten cheese, you! Yep, yep, this is kind of a foul stench. Now, what voice did I give this asshole? It, it's them! These three are new partners. Whoa, I'm coughing. <laughs> so bad here. Glad to meet you. And I'm Team Skull's leader. I'm Skunk Tank. Remember it. Especially you two. <laughs> what are you already acquainted? That simplifies things. These three aren't joining us as apprentices. They'll be joining our expedition to lend us their assistance. What? Why are you so shocked? 
Shut up, sir, it's nothing. That one always overreacts to every little thing. <laughs> hmm, very well, then. Anyway, the Guildmaster has made his decision. He has decided that having this trio take part will make us stronger on the expedition. However, it will be impossible to coordinate teamwork if we were to begin working together right away. Therefore, we've decided the trio should live with us for several days. Though it will be only for a short while, I ask everyone to treat our guests with hospitality. Doesn't Chadot think something stinks about this? Literally. Ooh, how can the Guildmaster stand this? I sure hope this expedition ends soon. Yep, yep. All right, everyone. Let's get down to work. Hooray. What's this? Where's your usual spirit? You gotta be kidding. This stinks. How do you expect us to be cheerful when... What? You... You... No! The Guildmaster! His rage is building! If the Guildmaster gets angry, it will be horrific! Everyone, come on, be cheerful, even if it hurts! Alright, everyone, let's get down to today's work! Hooray! He is a monster! <laughs> I like to listen to people talk about what they like. It is always nice to hear people, like, who are passionate about a thing. You can... It's just nice to hear them talk about it, ramble about it. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> Glad to have met you. <laughs> well, at least kind of story. Uh, something's definitely suspicious about them for sure. I don't know what they're scheming, but we'd better be careful, Neon. Ah, uh, you two. Take care of the jobs on the boats today, okay? We're counting on you. I wonder if they have anything to say. Uh, our guildmaster is a really special guy. Special in all sorts of ways. Team Skull is kind of scary. Aren't they all? <laughs> I guess I get to enjoy this fine ripe aroma for a while, yeah? It's another thing that makes me happy. Oh, by the way, I'm almost done repairing my swap cauldron here. When I'm done fixing it, I'll be sure to let you know. You'll finally learn what I'm up to here. <laughs> I'm just a little guy, ain't he? Not gonna lie, I really wanted to see my Chimchurch's junk, <laughs> dunk skunk tank in the hot springs. That would be amusing, and already there is a war line forming. Well, complaining about the smell doesn't help. Yep, yep. I'm glad I'm out from under the cloud of suspicion. No one's giving me the stink eye anymore. We're going to have a putrid time, hey, hey. Let's see Outlaw Notice Board. Jesus Christ, there's a lot at Mount Bristle. Jesus Christ, I don't I'm not sure I want to go on those ones. <laughs> nice to see you again. The expedition should be a joke. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> of course. There's just one little thing. Will you wimps get picked for the expedition? <laughs> <laughs> Seems we're living here with you imps for a while. We'll put up with you. <laughs> Shame I can't animate nor draw. I'm trying to learn to draw. Like my little character in the corner and the outro art. But it is just a thing. It be a thing. Hmm. We could go to Drenched Bluff again. Or we could attempt... To do Mount Bristle. The main problem is if we did do Mount Bristle, uh, well, we'd have a lot of dudes. A lot of dudes in there to have to deal with. Hmm. Ba -ba -ba. I think. Might be best to start with Drenched Bluff again, just to simplify it. Because that's way too many outlaws that I want to deal with right now. Well, that's a shame because you know when you have an amazing idea but you can't draw it, that is a mood. Because even though I am trying 
to draw more, draw lots. Drawing good is difficult, and my brain is very mean. So if I, I over, I'm overly critical of my art when I am drawing it, and then posting it is very much painful towards my brain. Oh, hey, a bottle. There's a bottle here. It looks like there's something inside. Would you like to try and take it out? Uh, oh, another drench bluff. Yeah, sure. We'll take it. It's like trying to load a gun with the wrong ammunition. It just won't fire. Yep. Although for me, it's more like stockpiling a bunch of ammunition for a gun that I don't have. Because I do want to, like, draw a comic. But that's a lot of drawing, and drawing, like, normal things is difficult. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> better than what I do. It all comes down to trying. And the problem is, like... I just, I need to try drawing more. But that opens up the possibility of my brain attacking me more. Which makes it painful. But I gotta get through it. But it's still painful. It's a hard thing. My writing is more easy, I think, because it's more difficult to compare myself to others. And posting writing is different th to, than posting art. So it's like, it, it's a different thing for my brain. It's weird. One thing that I do need to do, though is, since I like to post to Archive of Our Own, AO3, what I need to do is try and draw chapter art. Like, at the end of a chapter, post art relevant to that chapter to get, like, into the mode of drawing more, as well as just, like, my, 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 getting that passion going. Because I'm like, ah, yes, this story, I like it. And then I need to focus down and draw it more. I also need to work on my backgrounds a lot. And, well, just consistent drawing. Drawing consistently, as in drawing the same character again and again and having them look similar enough in your art style is very hard. There's been a terrible stench lately. Or am I imagining it? I don't think that stench is just a figment of my imagination. Want proof? Fewer exploration teams are visiting Treasure Town lately. I bet that stench is keeping them away. Weird. But again, don't a lot of people live here? think that they would actually live here more. Yo, I heard explorers are staying away from this place because that stench won't go away. If you were to ask me, you'd have to be pretty soft to let a little smell put you off. You two keep up your training. We've heard other exploration teams are losing their will to work. You know, because of the stench. It didn't have any effect on us. Yep, we didn't have any energy to begin with. Also, I think I noticed Electivire is still missing. Hello there. Welcome to Kangaskhan Storage. I have lots of things I'd like to throw into storage. Lots and lots of things. We didn't even reach the end of our diddly D. <coughs> throw things in. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Well, finding an art style is annual because my brain's like, uh, no, you can do better. That's a mood. My art style, like, I have no art style. It's just I draw things and hope it looks nice. And then it, like, varies from thing to thing to thing to thing. It's all over the place. Let me look at my job list because we are going to drench the bluff again. So we need to deliver a Rost Berry. I hope that we can grab a Rost Berry. And deliver a Blast Seed. So we need to grab a Blast Seed from storage. Let's see. A lot of things, because we can... There's other things. I want to see. Info. A food item that makes the user breathe high damage. Oh, what? Oh, my, I'm a fool. I thought I was looking at the actual black gummy, but it's like, no, you're locked onto that, you idiot. Let's see. Where are you, black gummy? Black gummy, I want your info. Dark type. I believe I'm a dark type. So we'll take that. We will take an orange gummy to make a drink for the boy. 
Let's see. We have a Rost. I think it's a Rost. Where's his level? I'm gonna hold off on that. Luck, let me just quickly activate. So I can look at my job again, because I have short-term memory, apparently. I'm a goldfish when I'm supposed to be a Zorua. <laughs> Swear to Arceus, my worst enemy is myself. Yep, ain't it always. What's the fire on, anyway? Uh, that would be the Blast Seed. Unless I'm addressing the wrong thing, for I'm a fool. Yep. I got distracted again, but like... One thing that I would like to do is, like, uh, oh yeah, that's the thing, is uh, make chapter art for the stories I'm writing, which is something I definitely need to do more of, as well as another thing that I need to do, or like want to do, after I read this. Ah, uh, you ask why we're here all the time. It is because we learn much from the sea, to be deep and expansive. Don't think that we're shirking our work. That isn't our intention. We insist that you understand us clearly on that point. Oh, see, hear me. Oh, see, teach me. Oh, see, understand me. Interesting little guy. Let's see, what was the thing? Is one thing that I do want to do is maybe make mini comics that are like one shots. So like a single page telling a small little thing or joke or maybe a few pages of a little thing is what I probably should do to start off with comic making. Because, like, uh, I have a few ideas noted down-ish for, like, from my Pokemon Rescue Team playthrough of, like, what if I turned, like, uh, my gameplay experience into a story that happened to my characters in this Mystery Dungeon playthrough. Might be interesting, perhaps. Might have to look into it. I'm at the gummies. I'm just trying to stockpile them for Chimchar. Always got to do that. <laughs> yeah, basically, I need to draw a lot more and bust down my brain so that I can win. Need to draw more Pokemon, really. Ah, what I'll do? Ah, Team Lost Light, I've got something I want to ask you. Kabuto took something of mine, and I'd really like it if you could track them down and get it back for me. It's an A rank. I mean, we can always get rid of it later. Thank you so very much. I'm so grateful for your help. I do like that there are different ways to get jobs in this game. So if you explore around, you can get different jobs. It just it adds to the flavor. I have really taken to this shop. This is a pretty nice shop. It's like those shops that just sprang up overnight. Ah, yes, a mountain of treasure. Sound good to you? I collected a bunch of apples. Oh yeah, we already know you. But it was, I thought my belly would be filled. But you are a fool, is what you are. All right, Spinda. Welcome to the fresh and friendly Spinda's juice bar. Well, I've got a black gummy with my name on it. Who'll drink this? Me. I'll need to take Annie off the job team so that they don't get nuked. Added the black gummy. That's right. Shake it this way, shake it that, and stir it all around and it's done! A light, rich flavor that just melts in your mouth went up significantly, and defense rose by one. And we shall make an orange gummy one for the boy. For the boy. I did the orange gummy. That's right! Shake it this way, shake it that way, and stir it all around, and it's done! A lot! <laughs> Went up significantly, and attack rose by one. I am the Victoire. <laughs> I kind of want to do that for April Fool's as the accidental... It's not that you happened... Oh yeah, that. The 180 confusion murder betrayal. The greatest experience of them all. And I just saved when I need to take Annie off the team. I'm Le Fool. Hey, Chimico. I need to rearrange my team. Stand by, Annie. Thank you for your help, Chimico. Do, 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 do. 
Oh, wait. One thing I need to do is... I uh, need to see if we have a Rost Berry in storage, I think, because... Yeah, deliver a Rost Berry. So let's go and see if we can find a Rost Berry in our storage. I don't think so. But I might as well see. Doop, doop, doop. Let's see. Pekka, Pekka... CTT, Oran, Orin, Pekka. Pekka, lots of Pekka. Berry, Violent, Citrus, Warp, Cherry, Special Band, Cherry. Man, there are just no Rost Berries in this world, are there? No Rost Berries, they don't exist. Hate myself for not having a capture card. I just remember holding 3DS in shock. Doubly hard to get, like, a 3DS capture card, especially these days. And, yep, nothing there. Because, like, I would be playing so many 3DS games if I had a capture card for the 3DS. But I don't. But it's always cool when... Oh, one thing I need to do is take the job off, because we can't deliver a roast berry that we don't have. Granted, I guess we can maybe open it up, but eh, we'll save and just keep it off. Because I don't think it's the one that's like, lets you find an item in the dungeon. So we shall not risk it. But it's always nice to play games, like even if it is something as horrific as burning your friend alive with a 180 snipe. A 180 no scope. It's still nice to play games that make you emote. To give you some emotional experience. Bastard. Die. How dare you hit me twice in a row and basically do nothing. You monstrosity. I shall un... Shane kill the... Uh, no, Shane. Silas, kill this guy. Keep hardening all you want. You shall be gone. Just to look back to my brain is I need to draw more. I need to draw lots more Pokemon. Force my brain to let me do the things I wanna do. Even if pain <laughs> even if pain. Even even if we're brain, we'll retaliate. It is a war on myself. That I must face. I do not want you to join me. Goodbye. Because, funnily enough, uh, like, long, long ago, before even my current Mystery Dungeon fanfic that I want to be writing came into mind, I had an idea for, like, a Mystery Dungeon webcomic way, 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 way long ago that I have lots of notes for. It's kind of off the rails in some places. But at the same time, it's kind of built that way. It's a fun time, I think. But before before I can start making comics, I need to start just drawing characters. And draw characters lots, draw them consistently. I need to write small comics before big comics. But I need to write com or like draw comics in general, because as it as it's as like it says the old saying of like I forget the exact saying but it's mostly like you shouldn't just wait to do something once you're good enough because you'll likely never be good enough in your own mind you need to just do it now so that way you can be doing it and as well as get an experience but it's one thing to go, yeah, I need to do that, and then actually doing it. There's two different things. And your brain gets in the way. It makes it a whole thing. A whole experience of pain. But hopefully, I can eventually work past that. Oh, hey, <laughs> for a moment, just like, wait a minute, what the fuck? And because the Chimcho was supposed to be me, I felt extra guilty. <laughs> Now that's roleplay. 
it makes it, it's like, oh no, you hurt your friend. Oh Jesus. Throw a rock. Well, this is going very poorly. I don't think I brought many orange seeds. Oh, I also another thing I need to do, because I think I took the moves off. Speaking of moves, I'll use Pursuit. I think he's just using Mist to make sure his stats don't go down. Dang it. Good job. Shane <laughs> did all the work there, because I was horrified at the monster going, I'm going to steal all your life force. And I say, no, I do not want to die. And for some reason, after a single super banger move, it decided to just let me get away with it. Shane, you are annoying me now. It's like, uh, this is why I have to take all your moves away, because you keep doing that. You could have just killed the guy, but no, you're like, I'm going to dance on you. I'm going to dance on you. Want to take... Yeah, but I like games that make me feel. Especially like role-playing games. Again, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team is like the first game to ever make me cry. Because I just, I was so invested in the characters. Which is hilarious, because Rescue Team has like, the, they're, I like them. They're nice. But the Rescue Team characters are kind of the most basic of the Mystery Dungeon, from what I hear. So it's just amusing to me that I cried over the simplest ones. Lots of goddamn Pekka Berries. And this isn't even a place where poison types hang out. Wait, <laughs> oh yeah, I don't think I ever finished my other thought. But yeah, the Mystery Dungeon story that I woke up and my brain just preloaded it in. It's like, hey, here's a fully formed like, major story arc that could just be, like, either plopped into a long-running mystery dungeon story, or, like, just done on its own. It is basically, hey, let's emotionally traumatize this Eevee for a while. And it went to a dark place. And then my brain was just like, if you don't want to go to the super dark place, there's always this alternative you can go. And then brain went, oh, by the way, you are very annoying. You're just standing there at the corner thinking you're safe. Stupid little shallows. How dare you not fight me like a man, you shallows. Back to my thoughts. But then Brain went, oh, and if you still want to include aspects of the super dark route, but you don't want to go fully commit, here's this other way. So we can have super duper emotional trauma all around. Now I just need to round it out and make it so that it's emotionally scarring for all the main characters of the story. And not just the Eevee. Why is it that the Chingling just continues to do zero damage to me? Is it just because none of the other <laughs> creatures can attack me? None of them have the chance to murder me? to the apple. The apple was mine. Explorers of Sky was the first ever game to make me cry because my Chimchar was, well, me. It felt even more in the game. Yep. Hey, Neon, how much have I missed? Not super much. We went to Drench Bluff once before. Then we went on sentry duty for a little bit. Now Team Skull is hanging out at the Explorers Guild like a bunch of bastards. They're plotting something. And this is the dungeon run that we're doing after Skunk Tank and his minions showed up at the Diddly D. 
so not all that much so far, despite almost being an hour. Otherwise, I've mostly been rambling about Pokemon Mystery Dungeon fanfiction and my want to draw more art, and how my brain is my worst enemy on that front. And again, er ever since last time, where we had the game freeze when going up dungeon floors, every single time the transition happens, and it kind of slightly visually stutters on the fade out, I, my, my heart just drops like, oh no, it hurts. Fear. What do you mean the requested blast seed isn't in my treasure bag? Did I take a stun seed by accident? Oh, that's why. I got confused because I was grabbing the... I wanted to look at the gummy and then I deselected the... Yeah, okay. My bad, Chingling. You're probably gonna die in this cave. Not to mention after Apollo lost me, I felt even more guilty the game was cutting onions, I swear. I want games that emotionally destroy me. And that's why I hope that if we get another Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game, I want it to emotionally eradicate me. I want it to draw me in, make me care about the characters, and then shoot me in my head. My heart's head, if you will. I want it to kill me! <laughs> Same. I'm currently playing Scarlet and Violet's DLC. I think I've heard good things about the DLC all around. Then again, I'm not super deep into the Pokemon-like sphere of people talking about Pokemon all that much. I just see whatever comes across my feed. Kind of helps, because there's a lot of negative people out there. I'm like, eh, I don't want that energy on my timeline. I wanted my Chimchar to dunk Skunk Tank in the hot springs. I'm fairly certain we all want that to happen. And I got $200. And overheat. I don't think we can use that at all. But nice. Our first TM, and it was from the cops. Thanks for finding, Grimer. Please accept this. And then the majority goes away. And a heal seed. Thank you. And explorer rank stuff. And of course, we have to sit next to Skunk Tank. Because there's no justice in this world. Taxes. The worst evil in the world. At least hopefully it goes towards feeding the, the, the guild. And not just Wigglytuff's perfect apple addiction. Because I think that's what they're called, perfect apples. I think we're going into... Isn't this chapter called something about the, or like the, per, the perfect apple incident? I don't know. We should get some sleep too. Let's make tomorrow another good day, Neon. Okay. Good night. Is this where the evil happens? Well, something happens. We just had dinner, but I could go for some more food. My belly will never get filled on grub like that. More right. My guild members have gone off to bed. Let's go find it now. Huh? Find what? What else? The guild's food stock. We'll find their food and give ourselves a proper feast. I like that thinking, Chief. Okay, let's get to it. The next morning. Muppet Adam, it's morning! Uh, good morning, Neon. Oh, to have an alarm clock that murders you? Oh no, they're gonna eat the perfect apples. They're gonna turn them into imperfect apples. And three smiles go for miles. Okay, Pokemon, time to get to work. Hooray! Ah, you two. Your task today is to obtain a stock to replenish the larder. Larder? You mean go get some food? We inspected the larder this morning. For some mysterious reason, the guild's stock of food has dropped sharply all of a sudden. Furthermore, the, our entire stock of perfect apples has disappeared. Uh, that was the only item to get completely cleaned out. Perfect apples? What are those? They're very big and very delicious apples. But more than that, they are the guild master's favorite food. 
if there were no perfect apples, the guild master would. Um, the guild master w w would. <laughs> Go on. If there were no perfect apples, what would happen to Wigglytuff? The g guild master would. Yes, that's what would happen. That's why I'm begging you two to get some perfect apples. Uh, what did he just say? I didn't hear. It'll drive me crazy not knowing. Uh, but oh well. Sure, we'll go get some. You can count on us. Good. Perfect apples can be found deep in apple woods. Now listen, this may seem like a simple errand, but it's a crucial job. After all, this is all about the guild masters. So please, don't fail. Okay. Let's keep doing our best, Neon. And then the bastards are there listening. <laughs> Looks like they're going out foraging for food. Much because we feasted last night. A thankless task, thanks to us. <laughs> <laughs> Let's mess with them. Of course they are, because they're bastards. Neon, get the violet seed. We got some skunk tank to fight. Yeah, I suppose that wouldn't hurt all that much. Then I can use my Fury Cutter, is what it was called, or Fury Swipes, I forget. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. We'll make sure we're stocked up on items. We will take our money. Yo! Hey, I'm advertising another shop today! See? See that shop there? That place called the Electivire Link Shop. That can, shop can link two moves together for you. You see, link moves are used one after another in the same turn. Put a smart combo together and you can make awesome strikes. Why not pay the shop a visit and see what I'm talking about about Lincoln? Hey, hey, it's no time to be losing motivation. What's a little stink? There's an expedition coming up. Hey, hey. I need to see what moves we want to do. Right. Hmm. Yeah, probably Leer and Scratch, because Fury Swipe's just too, too low. Too, too low. We don't want to lose it. Hey, Neon, where could I find the previous live streams for Pokemon Mystery Dungeon? They are going up in the following days, because I'm uploading them, like, uh, across my backlog. So, basically, I'm trying to upload them in the, like, same way that I'm streaming them, where it comes up once every two days. So, it'll come up soon. Should come up soon. I'm not sure exactly when, but yeah, they should all end up on the Neon Icy Games YouTube channel eventually. And like I said, they one one ep one episode one stream vod goes up every uh, once every two days, so it'll get there eventually, hopefully. And what move should we link for you? Really, endure encounter being linked together is probably the best. Hmm. If I knew how to, like, move the moves. Hmm. Because I know I can move them around. But I don't know how right now. Maybe I can move them around if I talk to Electivire. Howdy! Welcome to Electivire Link Shop. I think all the moves you want for just 500 Pokey a session. Ah, there we go. Now I can shift moves. All right, Link, Scratch, and Leer. So now I can lower them and annihilate them. Mwahaha. Now let's see. Endure and Counter can link together, and then the other will just be normal. We'll activate you so you can do more text. So do we keep going? Come see me whenever you have some linking to do! <laughs> you know, I never linked moves. I forgot its existence. <laughs> or if you linked it, you should have access already. Maybe. But like, for me, I like linking moves. But usually I just end up linking like two or three moves and then like never touching it again because I'm a fool. 
Everyone's quite excited about the upcoming expedition. We should all work hard so we get chosen for the expedition. And I know evil pain is coming. I feel like Team Skull is going to prove their bastardness soon. And that will bring the pain. We'll bring at least one Max Elixir, get rid of all of you. Let's see. Should bring probably an extra big apple. We'll store all these away. And let's see. I think we'll take maybe another Reviver Seed. Just so that things aren't... Oh yeah, and the Violent Seed. So that I can annihilate them for what they're about to do. Because they're going to come mess with me. They're going to mess so hard they'll die. Thank you, Kangaskhan. And we'll go check Sharpedo Bluff because we can. Oh, hey, Diglett's here. My son. Yes, Dad? Why did you call me out here? See, the sea is vast. Um, yes. Well, but why are you telling me this? I'm supposed to be working, Dad. If I don't go back soon, I'll get an earful from Loudred. You'll be scolded while at such paltry matter cloud your thoughts, broaden your perspective like the sea before you. I don't know what that means. I'm going back to the guild. I want to be chosen for the expedition. Dad, you should quit wasting time here and get back to work. See you. Oh, for crying out loud. I wish you hadn't seen that. Raising a child is the hardest thing I've ever done. <laughs> uh, but I'd like to imagine that my son will one day understand the way that we have chosen to live. You are a weird little guy. Weird three little guys. Hey, little guy. Need to go back. So I'm gonna check the shops just cause we can. Let's see. Nope, just some gummies, Pekka, Reviver, Apple. Not all that much, not all that much. Now, what things can I not afford to buy from you? Call Mind and some other things. I never buy orbs. Just never seems really worth it. And we'll store all our money. And make sure our job list is suspended. We shall save, just in case. Knowing my luck, the, <laughs> the game will freeze when we go up a level in this next one. Because this is the thing, is that it, happened, it hasn't happened since that second time. And now I'm just always... Always on the lookout for pain. Well, let's go into the murder zone. Hopefully we don't get murdered. Well, this is a nice beat. And this must be the way into Apple Woods. According to Chatot, we need to go to the deepest part of the woods. That's where the perfect apples are supposed to be. Let's keep doing our best, Neon. a funky little beat. Whoa! Looks like they're off and running. <laughs> we'll go after them. Come on! Why must they choose me as the munchkin to die? At least we get lots of experience now. Haha, you missed, idiot. Go ahead and throw a rock, because I have lots of rocks. Now get annihilated. Happy little music. We could just bum rush it towards the exit. Well, that's not how we should do things. Alright, well, I'll annihilate you for getting in the way. Again, I just really like the music. M music's super good. 
Leave the boy alone. Let that child alone. You just had to waste your force bomb, huh? Maybe I should have brought more max elixirs. Maybe Electivar shop popping up was the warning. Hey, you, you really should bring more max elixirs, idiot. You fool. Let's see. Just wanted to burn me. I wonder if all three types are in this game. That would be dedication. I think that was overkill. We'll just take these guys out normally. Splash? Why do you know Splash? You're a plant. Extra weird is that it actually did damage. Okay, the, the little animation of the hoppet twirling through the air. That's cute. It's now dead, but it's still cute. Da -da 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 -da. Ba -ba -ba. For a moment there, I thought I was like, ah, where's the stairs? Where do the stairs go with? And where do they go? Cotton Eye Joe. Ah, pink gummy. I shall smack you in the face. Congratulations, you splashed, and I think you saved me a turn of beating your ass. Ba -ba -ba. We're already entering the zone of far more complicated dungeon layouts. And this is like only one of a few story dungeons that we've done. Eventually... We'll enter the realm of 4D chess. Where you have to pl where you have to play the mystery dungeon in real life. Granted, if the game said, hey, we're gonna turn you into a Pokemon. For reals? That'd be neat. Now we have to wait for the Protect to wear off, I think. I don't know. I don't know how Protect works in this game. For all I know, it's God Mode. We probably also should have brought some Oran Berries. Perhaps. Hello, Hopip. You shall now die. Alright, good for you. Are you gonna synthesis again? Now you're just gonna tail whip because you're a weird little guy. At least we got a special band. Not sure how much that would, like, sell for. Oh, Jesus. This is about something I feel like we need to murder. Murder is the best way to go. I feel like I'm going to have... We probably should have brought more max elixirs, because I think we only brought, like, one. How many did we bring? Okay, we brought two. So, maybe partway through, you'll run out and then... I don't know. Well, at least we got another Reviver Seed. Oh, hey, it's a butter flea! You bastard! You see a cute butterfly? And you're like, oh, that's adorable. It poisons you, and now you swear vengeance upon its family line. I'm an eagle Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. We'll soften up the executor. Die. Well, I guess it does make sense why rocks would kill the tree man. The tree makes paper. Why can't we just pick, a, pick an apple from the 
on the sidelines. There's apple trees. Why not eat them? Eat the trees whole. That's how we do it. To survive. Murder. All right. Ah, dang it. Now they're all coming for me. I just wanted to line up to kill this guy. Have you unlocked the ability to recruit new members? Yes, but I'm a little fool, and I don't really do that all that much. Oh, Jesus Christ. I run. I flee. Yeah. And that's why we gotta get out of this room! The moment I see tons of enemies... In big open space, I flee. But yeah, I got distracted. Uh, yes, I do have the ability to recruit new members. But just not something that I, like, really utilize all that much. Because Child Me was like, It's this adventure of me and my partner. For I am a fool. I should probably bring along a third party member. It's mostly due to the fact that having a third party member mucks up my brain of like strategy and positioning and I have to worry about them. They're weaker than my main guy. It's, it's a whole thing. Slack off really was up for me. <laughs> so I probably should go and grab somebody to like try and level up and do stuff with. Perhaps, perhaps. I'll we'll just move along. I mean, half healing your HP in one move. Ooh, 17 uses. Oh, that sounds good. Well, it also depends, like, who you're going up with or going up against. But for, like, normal dungeon traversal, that might be really good. Die, go me. We shall eat your honey. I eat your honey. I slurp it up. How dare you hit me. You must now die. I think it was a good thing that I used that, like, what was it? Life seed? Joy seed? And I'm gonna do this so you don't have the chance to poison me. Damn it, he it still had the chance to poison me. Luckily, it didn't. That Butterfree wasn't a move optimal. Oh, hey, it's Gami. That was just on the floor. And we have a Kecleon, but we're not gonna. But what is this item? Welcome, welcome. I don't have the money for it. I could just eat it. <laughs> and then he'd summon all his friends. And we'd die. I don't bring many monies into dungeons. Level up time. Awesome, I leveled up! Get all the uh, all the HP you can, Shane. Not Shane, Silas. Again, I, I am locked on to the original name I used for Pokemon Rescue Team. And now it's just locked into my brain forever eternally. You bastard. Luckily, it only healed 6 HP out of the 12 that it murderized from me. Is there anything we want to throw out to bring a uh, twist man with us? Do we care? Because we already have a bunch of twist mans. Maintains attacking that, so yeah, I don't really care. It's not what we're going to use. I'm not sure, like, how useful it is to use. I like the scarf and the bow. <laughs> Apollo is locked into mine. That's just how it goes. Once you have, like, your first real mystery dungeon partner experience you immediately just go and this is now that character's name for eternity like going out and trying to use a different name 
It is difficult. I shall eat from floor so that we can just do that. We must murderize him before he can murderize us. I keep thinking Silas is Apollo. That must be a weird thing, like if you're like super deep into the game. And then you go like, why is my partner with that person? Oh god, I just had like another Pokemon Mystery Dungeon story idea. Like, the hero character from one game. Like, something happens as they're being taken away back to the human world. And when they're supposed to return to the Pokemon world, something happens, and like, oh, I've returned! I can see my friend again! They go, they see, it's their friend, but it's not their friend, but it's their friend. But they're meeting somebody who's them, but it's not them. And it'd just be like, an emotional, just annihilation. I guess we can swap out. I'm leaving behind so many items because I just don't have bag space. How dare you try to stomp on me. I'm an adorable little dog thing. Now you must die. I use global warming to kill the tree. Now that would be more for the iceberg. For him it would be deforestation. You bastard. Then again, I think I might have a berry that gets rid of that. We probably found it, maybe. Cures paralysis. But <laughs> the one time that I don't have a Pekka berry. You bastard. Oh, hey, now I could use that. Go murder eyes. I throw a rock at the at the mushroom man. <laughs> so a doppelganger. More like going back in time, but across dimensions. So like if the player character from one run of the game ends up at the beginning of another playthrough, and it's like there's the partner Pokemon, their dear friend they went through everything with, but it's not them. Technically on some level. And they're making friends of somebody else who isn't them. Who do lots of emotional damage. They're like, but where's my friend? They're my friend, but they're not. And they're making a team with that Pokemon instead of me. Just utter annihilation. Oh, Deep Apple Woods. Is it boss battle time? This is the farthest you can go in Apple Woods, right? According to Chatot, the perfect apples should be around here somewhere. Oh, Neon, look there! Hanging on that huge tree. Those must be the perfect apples. They look like normal apples to me. All right, then. How should we get those perfect apples? <laughs> Easily done. Who said that? <laughs> How'd you get ahead of us? What? You? <laughs> Team Skull at your service. <laughs> hey, it's Wimpy and Company. What took you so long? We've been having us a picnic of perfect apples while waiting for you to show. What took you so long? What? Oh, you took so long, I stuffed myself. They're saying they ate the perfect apples, Neon. But there are still several left on the tree. Let's knock these creeps out and take some home. Take home some perfect apples. <laughs> knock a sound. That's very rude of you. Why, I was even going to offer myself help for your mission. Huh? You were wondering how you could get the perfect apples. Nothing would, could be easier. Watch! Damaging to your head.
Impressive. Oh, some perfect apples. See? What did I tell you? Go on now, scoop up those perfect apples and scuttle back to the guild. <laughs> What's the matter? Aren't you going to pick them up? And after I was so nice and helped you out? <laughs> You're gonna pull another dirty trick, aren't you? You can't fool me again! Telling me surprise, they didn't fall for it at all! Uh, how boring is that? I was right! <laughs> it's a little disappointing you didn't fall for our act. But so what? What are you going to do about it? The only thing we can! We're gonna knock out your team, then we're taking the perfect apples back to the guild! Well now, aren't we feeling pretty today? When we first met, you are shaking like a leaf, too! <laughs> it's true. That time I did back down. Even now I'm a little scared. But I won't lose again! I won't ever back down again! So be it. In recognition of your courage, we'll be honored to take you on fair and square! <laughs> Watch out, Neon! They're gonna try something! <laughs> Let's see if you can withstand this attack! Coffin and I will use our noxious gas combo! Wah! Oh, we're not even gonna get a chance to fight him, are we? Damn it. I wanted to fight him. Oh, that was disgusting. Oh, Neon! At least we can murderize the Zubat. Are you okay, Neon? I'm glad. <laughs> Quick, get him! Ah! They left without me! We really should have murdered him. Uh, we both got knocked out. What an overpowering stench. That stench is still lingering. Uh, what happened to the perfect apples? Oh, uh, they're gone! Those bullies eat them all? They're all gone, there's nothing we can do. There's nothing we can do. Let's go back to the guild. And now we're gonna be framed! When me and Apollo had the hot spring cutscene, I thought my Chimchar would die due to the tail flame thing going out in the water. Although I think that's mostly for uh, a myth for... Bop, bop, bop. Brain. Charmander! But... Still, an understandable fear a little bit. That would be interesting if some cutscenes did acknowledge your Pokemon type. <laughs> be thankful it didn't happen. Does that skunk tongue have to laugh that ridiculous laugh every time he talks? Probably. They left Zubat behind. Would have been great if you could eliminate their team member. Or at least, Brit, like, hold them hostage and bring them along. He's like, you're gonna tell the, the guild what really happened. What? You failed? Are you serious? Oh no, what am I going to do? Seriously, what am I to do? There's nothing we could do. You see, Skunk Tank and his... Quiet! I won't, don't want to hear any excuses. Ugh. You leave me no choice. For the time being, you'll be without dinner tonight. W what? But you failed to complete an important job. Your punishment could be much more severe. Uh, I don't want to hear anything from you. You saddled me off the terrible task. I've got to report this to the Guildmaster now. Upon hearing my report, the Guildmaster is sure to. Oh! I will report this to the Guildmaster after dinner. You two will come with me when I do so. If I had to face the Guildmaster's wrath all by myself, well, that would be hardly fair. Therefore, you two will come with me. That's an order! Damn it. Very rude. <laughs> Just pull a Batman. Where are they? Would eventually have been a two by two battle for Zubat. Uh. Hiya! You brought me some perfect apples, didn't you? Thank you. Uh, there's a slight. Uh, it's awfully hard to say this, but. Huh? What's wrong? You see, uh, truth be told, these apprentices, well, they failed in their mission to bring back any perfect apples and. So, uh, to put it another way, 
It's okay, I understand. It's all right, nobody wins all the time. Don't feel blue, don't feel blue. Where are the other perfect apples? As I'd explained, um, they failed to get them, so, uh, in other words, uh, the perfect apples, the number of perfect apples harvested would be, uh, zero. Oh. Therefore, not even one perfect apple was obtained. That means, Guildmaster, you have to make do without perfect apples for a little bit. Yep, that's what it means. <laughs> Um, Guildmaster! Guildmaster! <laughs> oh, he's going to cry! <laughs> ah, no! no! <laughs> and now the world shakes again. What is he, a god? He's mildly upset, so he d <laughs> destroys the world. <laughs> That's not fair, Chatot, going without dinner. Yep. They did that to Badoof as well. Harsh! <laughs> That's why I want to throw Chat up. Punt him out a window. Yeah, the whole place is shaking! <laughs> Cover your ears! Why? Don't argue! Do it now! <laughs> He's causing explosions with his crying? Sorry to disturb you. We've come to deliver a perfect apple. Huh? Jerks. Here you go. A genuine perfect apple. Please accept it as a token of our friendship. Oh, wow. You went and got it just for me? Yay! Thank you, friends. Friends. Thank you so very much. Very kindly. Uh, thanks to you, we've all been spared a catastrophe. Hey, you two, quit dozing and show your respect and appreciation. <laughs> no, no, it's quite all right. After all, your guild has been very generous and hospitable to us. It's only right that we try to repay that favor in our own way. Ah, I see that you're the most admirable of Pokemon. To be able to embark on an expedition with someone so noble as you, it'll be truly inspiring. <laughs> no, no, you'll be the ones who inspire us. Truly, we look forward to our expedition. It's late now, so we'll be off to bed. Until tomorrow, then. <laughs> he probably knows Earthquake. Probably does. Thank you. Good night, friends. Friends. We must murder them in their sleep. That chief, why'd you bother helping out that chicken? Like giving away that perfect apple right then. We should have just watched what happened to them after. That would have been hilarious. Yeah, my thoughts exactly. <laughs> You're not thinking strategically, you two. Why do we come here in the first place? The expedition ride. Right now, the trick is for us to win the trust of Wigglytuff. I get it now. But, this being a famous guild and all, I was playing it cautious at first. But it's been ridiculously easy. Wigglytuff's been nothing more than a big baby. He's no big deal. Why everyone's so terrified of Wigglytuff, I don't know. I'm clueless. Anyway, if we find a treasure while on the expedition, we knock out the guild's crew. Then we snatch the treasure and skedaddle on out! Whoa! This plan is a sure thing. <laughs> <laughs> this part may mean my blood boils since Chadok cut us off. Indeed. He's a bit of a busybody. <sighs> Skunk Tank's team showed us up over and over again. It's great that Wigglytuff didn't blow up at us. Uh, but we didn't get to eat dinner after all. I feel horribly hungry. Sorry, I know you're hungry too, Neon. Staying awake like this doesn't make it better. Let's get some sleep. Good night, Neon. I kind of like the just laying down animation. It's just like, blop. Let's keep at it tomorrow.
Being cut off during a conversation annoys me. Uh, yep. Muppin' Adam, it's morning! Uh, uh, good morning, Neon. Would you like to save your adventure? Yes, always save the adventure. This white chat out is my least favorite character in this game. There's another reason too, but can't say. Oh boy! Can't wait for him to go even deeper down. Um, one last item. Tomorrow or day after, or perhaps in several days' time, we plan to announce the members of the expedition party. Wow. By golly, the members are finally going to be picked. Oh my gosh, it'll be so fun. Everyone, this is your last chance to make an impression. Work hard and impress us if you want to be chosen. All right, everyone, let's get down to work as usual. Hooray! I'm so hungry, Neon. Ah, you two. You two should take care of the list of jobs today. We're counting on you. There's one other thing about the expedition. You should give up on being chosen as expedition members. Uh, well, why? Your failure yesterday weighs heavily. As you know, it is difficult to tell what our guildmaster is thinking from his demeanor. But there's no doubt that he must be seething with anger. It's unlikely that he would bother to choose you for the expedition. So when the time comes to announce the members, uh, don't get your hopes up. That's all. At least it's less him going, I'm not going to choose you, and more like, he doesn't understand Wigglytuff's thought process at all. And is more like, yeah, I can hardly tell what the guildmaster say in his side, inside his head, his empty head. So, uh, he, he might be very angry, for all I know. Uh, be prepared to not be chosen. I was already weak from hunger. And then to be told something like that? There's no way I can get motivated now. Psst, listen up! Is it Diglett? Huh? I heard a voice somewhere. Uh, Shh, over here! Oh no, it's them! Oh, Badoof! How did we not notice that Badoof was talking? Shut up, stop, just stop talking. You're digging your own grave. It's more like he's digging a grave on behalf of Wigglytuff when he doesn't know anybody's gonna die. He's just assuming. Shh, by golly, not so loud! Come this way! Alright, what secret membership deals are we dealing today? And why are we doing it in our room? Or are all the rooms looking like this? Whew! No one saw anything except maybe Crow Gunk. What's going on? Why'd you call us in here? Well, here you go. They got us apples! But they're darlings. Oh, apples! You must be very hungry. We all set aside a little bit of our dinners last night for you. Now eat up. Thanks, everyone. I like this. This is very nice. It it shows a bit of com like camaraderie between the guild members. I really like it. This this is very nice. Very nice. Oh, thanks. I'm revitalized. Great. We all can use help when we're down. Every one of us needs to be able to work hard in order to be picked for the expedition. Yep, yep. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. But about the expedition, Shoutout just came and told us we're probably not going to be chosen. How could you say that? There's no telling what might happen. No sorry. The members haven't been picked yet. Everyone, thanks for trying to cheer us up, but doesn't everybody want to go on the expedition? But if we were chosen to go, if that happens, someone here might not get to go. Would you all be okay with that? No, I wouldn't like that. But of course, if someone is chosen, then someone else can't go. That's just the way it is. If you don't get picked for the expedition, you should cheer for those who did. Yep, yep. And everyone wants to go on an expedition with you, Silas and Neon. Everyone, honestly, thank you. Okay, then. We'll keep trying our best to get picked for the expedition. We'll keep on trying to the end. Yep, yep. That's the spirit. Yes, let's all do our best. We've got to try hard so we can all go. Yes. Yeah. That's a good scene. Very good scene. Utterly magnificently done.
<laughs> hey, you two. Over there. Oh, it's Krogunk. <laughs> and when he staved Bidoof and Golden Retriever of Pokemon, I really wanted to Hyper Beam Chut out with a Violet Seed. Yeesh. So that's just his go-to thing. I'm going to starve you if you slightly inconvenience me. This warms my heart after Chatout was going to crush our dreams. It is. It is very, very well done. <laughs> what are you up to if they do from the others? It all looks so sneaky. I suppose it's got nothing to do with me, but... <laughs> anyway, that's not why I called you over here. <laughs> the waiting's over. It's about my shop. <laughs> the Krogunk Swap Shop is back in business. Krogunk Swap Shop? <laughs> you heard right. I finally finished repairing my swap cauldron, which means that I'm finally back in business again. <laughs> You put certain kinds of items in this here swap cauldron, and those items get swapped for an item offered by another Pokemon somewhere around Treasure Town. There are some Pokemon around that have pretty rare items for swapping, so you could end up with a stupendously great swap, get it? <laughs> so if you two feel like swapping items, you bring them to me, all right? <laughs> Interesting. I'll have to try that sometime. Psst, yeah, I'd say you two lucked out getting us to share those apples. I was worried about you two. Anyway, here's all to all of us. Let's work on being picked for the expedition. I like this guild. Sure, Chatot is kind of a busybody ass, but I still... There's something charming about him in that kind of jerkish kind of way, because I don't think that he's mean-spirited, at least so far. It's just that he's very presumptuous, a loud mouth, and doesn't let you get a word in edgewise. So, but still, I can definitely see why a lot of people really don't like him. He just had to play the evil catalyst. Which is, he just had to play that role so we could get good scenes, like the little sneaky meetup. Mad respects to Bidoof, Sunflora, and Chimico. They're very nice, they're very nice. Hey, hey, I'm not about to lose! We all want to win a place on the expedition! <laughs> the members haven't been chosen yet. We must never give up! Is there any outlaws I want to do? Chingling's clan! This coward's always surrounded by henchmen. I don't think I could do an A. Especially not ones. In Waterfall Cave, I feel like that would be annihilating of me. I want to go on that expedition with your team, Neon. Yep, yep. Let's get it done. Let's see. What jobs do we have? We do have uh, three beach cave ones. So if we got rid of this, yeah, we're just going to get rid of that and I think take all of the... Which ones? The beach cave? Beach cave. We'll take beach caves. I thought there were more beach caves in here. What the hell? I think I was looking at my own thing. Then it blasted me in the face. Well, I guess we'll just use our... Well, I guess we can look and see what... We do have a drenched bluff. Are there any drenched bluffs? Nope, they're all Mount Bristle. Yeah, I'm going to clear out my job casing of this. So we're going to get rid of our beach cave, Dilly D, which I guess means we could also... Hmm. Maybe take a few Mount Bristles, because I don't feel good going to Waterfall just yet. Uh, even though Loudred didn't show uh, it as much, he showed he cares too, which is very nice. Yeah, this game knows how to write a story. It's very good. <laughs> Tangela may be confused. Help me, please! We'll take two missions from Mount Bristle and see if there's anything at the... ba ba, -ba. The beach. 
ba 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 Huh? There's someone at the cafe entrance. I wonder what's going on. Hey, is something going on? Something at the cafe? Yeah, it seems like there's some wonderful news for all the explorers. I wonder what kind of wonderful news. Now I'm really interested. I'm going to go find out. I'm going too. Wonderful news, huh? Pinyon, we should go too. Now well, let's see what the wonderful news is. But yeah, I can definitely see how there's like so many Pokemon Mystery Dungeon like fans out there with a game like this. Wow, there's a crowd. May I have everyone's attention, please? First of all, I'd like to thank you for taking time out of your busy schedules. Today, I would like to give you some wonderful news of hopes and dreams. Everyone's already cheering. <laughs> Thanks to your kind patronage, this cafe has become quite popular. We've been fortunate to have so many wonderful customers. This shop's pride and joy. The recycle shop is fully operational and has collected many items. We would like to thank you for your kind patronage by opening a new service. We're calling it Project P. Project Penis? What? Project P? What's that? This project aims to use the items gathered at the recycle shop in order to explore unexplored places. Allow me to explain. So, I wonder what this is. I don't think I know anything about this. Right now at the recycle shop, you trade several items in exchange for one of the shop's items. Thanks to everyone's continued recycling efforts. I did it once, and then I keep forgetting. We've gathered a lot of items here at the shop. The service will continue to operate in the same manner. And now with Project P established, you might be wondering how Project P fits into all this. We'll use the accumulated items to explore unexplored areas. There are still so many places around the world that are waiting to be found and explored. So many secret treasures and challenging puzzles waiting to be discovered. So let's go out and find them. That's what Project P is about. Ah, uh, the pursuit of knowledge. Yeah, this is doing the number on my throat. And continued exploration. We'll find dazzling treasures and new exploration areas, probably. And if you bring your discoveries back to the cafe, you'll get a special deal at the recycle shop. They should keep items circulating through the recycle shop. The items at the recycle shop will become more and more amazing. What do you think? I understand. Remember, everybody, while doing lots of reading in difficult voices, remember to drink your tea. Oh, the Gummy Cafe, the beloved Spinda Cafe. It is a marvelous introduction, like a marvelous thing to add. I unlocked Destiny Tower here. Huzzah! Even though this is the second game of the Mystery Dungeon series, it was my first uh, favorite game before Super Mystery Dungeon came out. I myself really like, like, because <laughs> here's the thing. Even though I know that I played Explorers of Sky, I hardly remember anything about it. I only remember a few moments from Explorers of Sky from like the 10 plus years ago that I played it. And that's why I'm doing this Mystery Dungeon playthrough, because I beat Rescue Team last year, hope to beat this game this year, and then slowly, bit by bit, get to, like, Gates to Infinity, experience that myself, and then Super Mystery Dungeon, which is another game that I got a bit of the ways in, but hardly remember anything about it, and don't really know much about it. I think I've heard some things, mild out-of-context spoilers, but I know next to nothing, so I can't wait to get to them. Use the recycled items to explore the world! Don't you think it's a magnificent project, full of hopes and dreams? Oh, this is genius. It seems so economical. We've already sent out an exploration team to find unexplored areas. There should be new discoveries before long. So everyone, please keep recycling more and more every day. Let's all work together and find unexplored areas. Hooray! Wow, so amazing! Recycling leftover items, trading them around, they're bound to turn into unbelievable treasures. 
and being able to explore unexplored areas. <laughs> I'm so excited. We should recycle more. You definitely should. I haven't played Super Mystery Dungeon or Gates to Infinity. Funny thing, I thought Gates to Infinity was a ROM hack. That's kind of amusing. Project P is a dream I've had for many years. Someday I know I'll make a huge discovery that'll amaze everyone all over the world. It's eco-friendly, you know. Recycling is a trend of the time. It's a bit different from being eco-friendly, isn't it? <laughs> Project P is cool, but I think the juice bar is as cool. The last time I had one of the drinks here, I made a new friend. It's like juice drink harmony or something. Pretty cool, huh? Drinks, I mean. Cool hopes and dreams! When you recycle, you can trade up for even more amazing items. I'm not being deceived, right? This is okay. <laughs> he thinks that it's not. <laughs> All right, I'm, gonna, I'm going to recycle a bunch from here on out. Good for you, Zigzagoon. Isn't it a great that this recycling opens a doorway to unexplored dungeons? I bet Spenda spent some time on this wonderful idea. I wonder if there's something special if you recycle a lot. Well, as long as you're paying. <laughs> I probably should start with you. I don't really get it, but it sounds great, I guess. Very neat. Super cool. Ba-da-ba-da. -ba -da. I played all four Mystery Dungeon games. Five of you include the XD version on the first game. I myself have, pl like I said, uh, played Rescue Team and beat it a long time ago, and then last year I finished doing a playthrough where I went through most of the post-game. At least all the story-ish important post-game. And then... For Explorers of Sky, I played... I think I beat Explorers of Sky but hardly remember anything and didn't do any of the post-game. Maybe a little bit of the post-game, but not much. Then Super Mystery Dungeon, I think I got to the guild portion, I think? But I hardly remember anything about that game. I loved the music of Super Mystery Dungeon, and I heard negative things about Gates to Infinity, but I also think that people have, like, come around on it in recent years, and I really want to give it uh, my own shot at it with an open mind. Even, e even if I am still bothered that they reworked the basic attack so it only does five damage, meh, it just wrecks my brain. There's a lot of post-game, and I can't wait to get to it. I've heard Wigglytuff's Guild is going on an expedition soon. Good luck with that. I hope you get picked for the expedition. Yo! Hey, I'm advertising another shop today! See! See! That shop there! That place called Electivire Shop. I already, you already told me this. You, you stupid little moron! You already told me this! It's me, inside your head, telling you that you've already done this! Figure off! You're making a fool of yourself! You've already done it! I don't know why I got so excited over that. <laughs> I got too in character. <laughs> I got too in the character. <laughs> My apologies. <laughs> I just had the joke idea and brain immediately went, let's run with it! <laughs> let's see, what do we need to bring? Uh, do we have an extra orange berry? Let's keep two orange berries. And uh, let's see, do we have any apples? We need to bring in a... I guess keep... Bring in a big apple, because I think I sent some big apples in. Uh, we'll take the little apple out. We'll have two big apples with us. Two reviver seeds, two orange berries. I think we'll, let's have three reviver seeds just to be safe. Because I'm not gonna be had again. Sweet chaos, figure off, relax. He has exceeding, exceeding anxiety. But once he starts the sales pitch and he realizes that he's already done it, he has to finish it. <laughs> Sounds like a blooper from that <laughs> that made the final cut. <laughs> Let's see. Again, okay, I need a big apple. I need to have New York with me. Here, New York. Here, New York. Let's see. Anything else I want to bring with me? Uh, let's bring out some... Let's bring some gummies with us, and we'll have some gummies... Gummy drinks at... Spinda's Cafe, unless they're still doing the super duper celebration thing and we can't do that. 
I think I'm gonna buy another violent seed. And we'll put it away. But let's have a violent seed so that we can maybe do some extra damage if we have to do boss fights in future. <laughs> Love the music! Actually, kind of speaking on that, hey, I think we need to put you away, is... I like the music so much, my brain went, hey, let's go and grab the sound font of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon DS games and make our own music. Except I don't know how to make music. I suck at it. I might squiggle around with it sometime. But I'm just not a musically inclined person, I don't think. Does anyone else see Kangaskhan as a loving parent due to how much she says honey or call the player sweetie? She is indeed, like, a very sweet character. And again, her being a Kangaskhan definitely makes it so that she comes off as, like, that mother, the community mother, who's like, oh, I'll look at these darling young explorer teams. I need to take care of them or else they're gonna fucking die. To Beach Cave we go, where we'll one-shot everything. Give me that money! Your money is mine! The money belongs to me! I am the rich Zoroa. Someday I'll become the rich Zoark. And I will make land development in the Pokemon world the true evil. I have no idea what the dark matter is. What the fuck? I don't think Kabuto. Was Kabuto here last time? I think he was. It's been a long time since we've been in the beach cave. And I got sidetracked. Because I was basically going to be like... I may not know, like, the story behind Dark Matter, besides the fact that it's na it, it has the same name as a Kirby boss, it will not. But, like, Dark Matter has nothing on evil land development. Pokemon Lex Luthor. He is here for land development. He'll make you pay rent in the mystery dungeon. Just warm my heart every time. Yep. Are all Kangaskhan female? I don't think so. I think there are male and female Kangaskhans. And recently, I think I watched a YouTube short, so you don't know if it's true or not. But according to the YouTube short... They're, like, during one of the data leaks of different, like, Pokemon betas or some such. I believe that there was, like, a third evolution to Cubone and Marowak that very much resembled Kangaskhan. But at the same time, it feels a bit convenient, and I feel like it could easily be faked and lied about for YouTube short clickety-clicks. At the same time, it... Uh, not to mention it also lines up too well with the fan theory from, like, all the way back. Like, oh, uh, Cubone is basically an abandoned baby Kangaskhan. And it would explain why, like, baby Kangaskhan, like, isn't really... Buh, 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 touched on all that much and it's just Kangaskhan. But again... Feels a bit too convenient to align with the fan theory. You can't trust all you read on the internet. If you read too much on the internet, you'll be inundated with lies. We shall not. We shall continue. It's a short dungeon. And I just know the game will curse me and be like, Haha, you fool. Now the, the floor will crash. Nope, we just get to the beach pit. Oh, it still looks nice. Might be all the more common for females, like how Rialu has an 87.5% male to 12.5 female gender ratio. I wonder how they decide the gender ratio when they're making a Pokemon. Thank you for giving me the Reviver Seed. I want you to have my Gravel Rock. 
exactly what I want. And a Max Elixir. Thank you very much. Thank you for rescuing me. To show all my thanks, I want you to have my heel seat. Oh, wait, no, I don't want to do that. I want... Oh. Choose an item uh, in storage. Oh, because we reached maximum of our storage. We definitely need to go do some recycling then. And swapping. Hmm. What shall be thrown? Orenberry. Goodbye. You're useless to me. Then you're useless to me! And a sky gummy. And the other Oren Berry. Bye bye! And we lay we ranked up! We're bro we're silver rank! <laughs> right! You dare? You dare do this to me? You have the client stand there? Watching me throw things out of my storage to give me the items, only to then make it so that you more than double my storage? You bastard! And we got a zinc! <laughs> Why not sell some stuff? That's what I plan to do. At least now we ranked up so we don't have to throw items away. And we got more gravel rock. And a reviver seed. I always like reviver seed. One of these days, some schmuck is going to come along and give us a reviser seed. And thinks that it's, oh, it's, see, it's a reviver seed. It's good. It's trying to kill us. The Pokemon version of Anthrax. <laughs> Jerk move game. That's what I'm saying. We should get some sleep, too. Let's make tomorrow another good one, Neon. Okay. Good night. I like the partner characters. In this game. Muppet Adam! It's morning! What would happen if Loudred got like a sore throat? He lost his voice. Everyone sleeps in because Loudred can't speak, so he's just like. <laughs> then he gets like the pots and pans and starts banging them. Smiles go for miles. Okay, Pokemon, time to get to work! Hooray! Ah, oh, you two! Let me give you your assignment today. Sentry duty! That's what we'll have you do today. I'll leave you to it. I don't mind sentry duty. Sentry duty's pretty nice. <laughs> what happens when everyone goes deaf? Maybe we get, like, a fire type to be the alarm clock. Look at the footprint at the top of the screen, okay? Then identify the Pokemon. You can get only two wrong, okay? Silas will keep flying on things. Here comes a Pokemon! Uh, Tauros, Venusaur, Totodile, Krokna. Um... I don't know. It's well done, jobs. You. Oh, dang it. They're the same part of the same thing. How dare you? You put two of the same frickin' thing with the same kind of feet right in front of me, you jerk. Here comes a Pokemon! Tell me what it is. Zeptile, Skarmory, Lanoon, Venusaur. I think Venusaur. I think Venusaur. The footprint is Venusaur's! Forget come in, visitor! Yep, looks like you're right! It comes a Pokemon. Check its footprint. Tell me what it is. Torchic, Charmeleon, Meganium, Combuscan. I need to wait for that. I think it's Charmeleon. Charmeleon. The footprint is Charmeleon's. Heard ya. Come in, visitor. Yep, looks like you're right. Here comes a Pokemon. Check what footprint is your back. Hoot Hoot, Prinlup, Skarmory, Venusaur. I think Prinplup, but I'm going to wait. You give me two fucking three bird ones. How dare you? I was like Sentry Duty. Sentry Duty is very nice. Here comes a Pokemon. Uh, Vulpix, maybe? Vulpix? <laughs> the footprint is Vulpix's. Heard ya. Come in, visitor. Yep, looks like you're right. Here comes a Pokemon. Uh, Bayleaf, Crocna, Mudkip, Scyther. I want to say Scyther, but I'm going to wait because I'm, I'm paranoid. Scythes. Come on in, visitor. The footprint is Scyther's. Heard ya. Come in, visitor. Yep, looks like you're right. Uh, not many visitors today. I think we got second place. That's all for today. Now get back here. It really allowed you to use the knowledge of learning the Pokedex entries. That's true. You have worked an honest day. Let me review your sentry duty performance. Your results were... 
Well, 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 perfect! We didn't fail. Uh, you identified every visitor correctly. <gasps> Excellent! I like to think that somebody drops the confetti on us when we get perfect, and that's like... I think is a, is a nice thing. We did it! Your efforts will certainly be rewarded. The reward will be special, too. You two deserve an especially generous selection of rewards. And we got 300 pokey. And a defense scarf. And not only that, but a reviver seed. I'm always down for reviver seeds. But that's not the end of it. And a heal seed. Not a bad selection. We got a scarf. We got a reviver seed. You two, keep that up. Huzzah. But I do like that they threw in that as a mini game thing. Sure, it takes up a day. But, like, it breaks up the monotony of just doing dungeons and makes it feel like you are a part of the guild. It's just very nice. We should get some sleep, too. Let's make tomorrow another good day, Neon. Okay. Good night. Get yourself a friend like the partner Pokemon in Mystery Dungeon Games. The next morning. Muppet Adam! It's morning! Uh, good morning, Neon. Would you like to save your adventure? Yes, I would. I would like to save my adventure. So that I can kill Skunk Tank in his sleep. And three smiles go for miles! Okay, Pokemon, time to get to work! Hooray! Ah, you two! Let me give you your assignment today. Look for jobs on the job bulletin board and outlaw notice board. Do the list of jobs, that will be it for today. Understood? No shirking your work, okay? Well, if you understand, get on with it. Bam, bam. Yep, just the same thing. I do like that they really, like, change up the character dialogue from time to time. <laughs> Welcome to Krogan Swamp Shop. Wanna swap? It'll cost you. Whose list of exclusive items do you want to see? Ooh! What's this? Slightly boost the attack and special attack of Dark-type Pokemon. You mean if a Dark-type Pokemon holds that, it boosts all their attack and special attack all around for any move they don't have to be special uh, or like they, a dark type move that'd be neat keeping the treasure back to give its benefits to all th and it's a oh oh that's nice oh that's cool it, it's not an equip it's in the bag I didn't know that what's dark dust slightly boost defense and special defense of Pokemon keeping your treasure bag that's cool it's just keeping your treasure bag Item for, uh, during a fog condition, protects dark type from status pr problems. This is cool. Swap a black silk and dark dust for a dark gem. Ooh! So I'm guessing, so these two you can get just by trading in normal items, but then the more deeper you go, you need to trade in specific ones. Oh, and that's neat. Prevents fighting type moves from damaging dark type. If my team were real in an actual story, and my the Zorua got a Dusk Globe, Silas would be like, hey, no f Like, if they were, like, sparring, Silas would be like, hey, no fair using the Dusk Globe. I can't hit you when you have it. This is cool. You don't wanna? Would you like to see anyone else's? Yeah. This is cool. I like this. I've never used this before. This is new. This is cool. And he has so many... Lucario Fang! I need to read all these. Brave Dust. Rarity 3! Traces the chance of finding treasure after defeating enemies. Keeping the treasure bag to give it benefit to team members Rialu. It is an extremely rare item rumored to be held by some baby Rialu when they hatch from eggs. Huh. Rialu Tail! But for he, Silas already has that! <laughs> That's up. I never use these. I never use it either. Slightly boost defense. Keep it in the treasure bag to give its benefit to all members of Rialu Lucario. But again, he already has a tail. Rialu card. 
Slightly boosts special defense. Keep it in the treasure. Valiant Rock. Boosts defense and special defense. Interesting. Emit Ring. All right, increases the damage inflicted on ghost-type enemies with normal and fighting-type moves. Very cool. Very cool. Lucario Fang. Keep it in the... Oh, boost special attack. Slightly. Hmm, slightly. Oh, dang it, I need to look over more. I'm sorry. I'm not done yet. I went too far. Slightly boosts. Oh, is it because these... Nope. Slightly boosts special defense. Slightly boosts... Well, that's weird. Item for Lucario, but benefit for Rialu and Lucario. Interesting. Boosts special and diddly D. Ravage Ring. Absorbs damage from psychic-type moves to restore HP. Neat. Fighting-type Pokemon. And then boosts attack and special attack. Wait. Slightly boosts. And slightly boosts. Interesting. Fight Gym. Uh, during a clear condition, boosts the movement speed. And Power Globe. Prevents Psychic-type moves from damaging Fighting-type Pokemon. I like these. I've never used these before. Now I want to see that as a comic, but no fair idea. I'm going to note that down right now as a thing. I have a little folder with a, a text document that I put art ideas in. This is going to be a comic idea. Gotta give myself cons text. I'm gonna note the stream. Because that, it's just, it just jumped right to my head. Because I've never used the swap shop before. Why did I never use the swap shop before? Honestly, it's a good thing that I never did the post game of this game before. Because I've never did this before. Let's swap. Any exclusive items? exclusive items. But I haven't received any, so I can't do any of them. Hmm. How does it work? Uh, trade info. Swap culture behind me. Exclusive items. They're swapped for one exclusive item offered by another Pokemon. But you have to put up a set of swappable items. Don't worry, it's worth it. You can get rare, uh, back rare items. Count on it. Alright. You'll need a set of items to mark up. Let me give you an example. A Shinx Claw and a Shinx Fang, you could swap them for a flash tag, get it? Also, you don't have to be limited, just your treasure bag. You can trade with exclusive items in your storage as well, so don't have to worry about dragging things out of your storage and lugging them all the way here. Keep an eye explanation, alright? So it's basically a kind of a big investment. A big ol' investment. You get them in locked boxes! Alright, no, I don't know what a locked box is! Hey, hey, I'm not about to lose! We all want to win a place! I'm gonna murder your family. But you are my family! Oh no! <laughs> well, I guess we're gonna go to Mount Bristle today. Bastard. Beach cave, waterfall cave. But no. Mount Bristle, and I don't wanna do too many, uh, outlaws. Fiendish circuit. It smile masks its bad intentions. Well, I guess I'll try to find some stun seeds. I'll find some stun seeds in our thing and we'll take out these ruffians. Master Thief Executor. I don't want to fight him. We're not going to fight him. He'll kill us. Ruffian, sad and lonely. We have a four job thing any thing. Now to explore the city a bit. It's a uh, P150 of uh, 150 pokey to break one open. Not that bad. Shut up makes me feel like the who parked their car on my sandwich guy. Who parked my car? <laughs> who parked their car on my sandwich? I did. Oh, Guildmaster. <laughs> ah! 
He, the guild master was out buying perfect apples. Fuck your sandwich. I shall take money in case there's things to buy at the Kickleon shop. And no, we're not going to have Mental Breakdown figure off round two. We've already been through that. At least when I was throwing items away, it was only for, uh... Ability to be. Induces sleep. I guess it wouldn't be bad. Ooh. I need information. <laughs> A food item that makes the user breathe high... Oh, no, not you. I keep doing that. I'm a fool. A food item that inflicts a sleep status condition which makes the user incapable of action. I'm going to bring some sleep seeds with me. And now we're going to use those to... poke at... the... Ba -ba -ba. Okay, let's see. I want two orange berries. We should probably maybe bring more. If we have sleep seats, we should be able to annihilate all enemies before us. Outlaws. All right. Uh, two big apples. Two big apples. And uh, three reviver seeds. So, yep, all that. Pop. Store. Ba 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 ba. We can carry 24 things. Do we have any other sleep seeds? Uh, oh, we should also take some things to uh, the recycle shop, too. I'll first take anything. More sleep seeds? Mm, I don't want to waste our... Ba -ba -ba. Worst comes to worst, we can just use stun seeds to prepare ourselves. Ah, another sleep seed. Huzzah! That way, we're, we can sleep seed the two outlaws to take them out. First things first. What things? Oh, and the zinc. We are taking the zinc with us. So gonna use it. Don't wanna lose it. I guess we'll take a few bands with us, maybe. And Ornberry. The fake. The fake bastard. Alright, let me quickly go to job list. Ruffian, Mount Bristle, Mount Bristle, Mount Bristle, all Mount Bristle done. Items, let's see. Uh, yep, a bunch of bands, the diddly dee. Uh, first, I'm going to see how much they sell for, because if they sell for enough, it might be worth it. Hmm. So I think I might sell the bands and then just, like, pawn off the, the fake stuff. Because I'm not really going to make too much use of these. But what do you have to sell? What are you buying? Violent seed. And a stun seed. Hmm. I guess we'll grab that gummy just because we can. Now he's going to have like a super duper fighting type TM for 5,000 pokey. Nope, just orbs. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Inventory management is very important. Inventory management. Over here, stranger. What are you buying? What are you selling? Go ahead and kill me. If you do and you're on the wrong difficulty, I might not come back. Idiot. items for the recycle shop. I 
probably brought an odd number, so I won't be able to do it like two times or something, but oh well. I'm but a fool. There's still the most surprise ticket drawings going on. I should try and see what I can win. Thanks to everyone's recycling efforts, Project P recently made a new discovery! Huzzah! The time treasure was discovered, so we're offering a higher grade of recycled items! And I did nothing! Was that last one an actual line from the game? Nope, it's just me uh, making fun of the fact that if you do kill the shopkeep in Resident Evil 4 on a certain difficulty, he's gone for the rest of the game. So I just think that'd be funny if you, like, point your gun at him. He's like, <laughs> idiot. Prize ticket or silver ticket? Oh, I think that might be good. And we can do it from the diddly D. I'm, I'm a fool. I didn't need to bring it. They were good. The game was good. And it's just like, oh, yeah. You don't have to worry about bringing things in with you. We're not gonna screw ya. You can do it from here, boyo. I mean, while I'm just a fool. Let's be honest, I'm never gonna bring in Pekka Berries. Give me a silver ticket. Let's redeem it now, I guess. Um, blue. Right, blue! Is it a win? Is it not? That's right! Is that so? That's not too bad. Enter the big... Uh, sure. Oh, I don't have any prize tickets, darn it. Just want to see, is there... Nope, can't even ask specifically about... The diddly D. Of, like, the silver ticket versus the normal ticket. Let's do more recycling. I could have sworn that I pulled out... Oh, info. I can get it here. If you take the silver ticket, uh, you can turn it to win big treasure. So yeah, just silver. It just more. Could have sworn that I gathered up a lot of sticks to throw in here. <laughs> or can you not bring sticks <laughs> for this? It's like, a lot of people would love sticks. Again, Pekka Berries, because I'm, like, never going to use them. I will throw a special band in, just because we can. I would like to train in my Gensing. No. I'm not that mad. Here, have a Blast Seed. Sure. Um, the last one I played was yellow. Right, yellow! Is it a win? Is it not? That's right! Is that so? That's too bad. Consolation prize, rainy orb. Oh yeah, and I need to come over here for the juice. I would like you to use Chatop Skull. Well, Silas is blue. He should get the blue one. I also really uh, remember laughing at Team Skull when immobilizing them in Stun Seed. Sometimes I think that I'm way too easy to amuse. Uh, it depends. Some things can be amusing. Oh, you got a good feeling about this drink. Good job. The flavors don't clash. Instead, they blend together in a beautiful harmony in this fine drink. Huzzah, huh? What? IQ increase too! Well, I would hope so. It's an IQ increasing drink. Imagine you go up to the IQ increasing drink bar, and you drink the IQ increasing drink, and it's just like, ah, oh, sorry. Fool. Nice RNG. I do feel like I've been getting decent RNG with these things. Oh, and another one! Oh, red gummy tea! The delicious flavor overwhelms your senses and delights your digestive system. IQ went up, attack went up. Ah, IQ increased too. I am the luckiest. 
<laughs> Where was this bar during exams? <laughs> like, if I were a Pokemon, I would totally go to Spinda's bar. It would be utterly fantastic. If fruit smoothies were like this, I would love it. And uh, just because I can, let's check IQ. Yeah, Escapist, I think, is just normal. I don't think anything here is all that much. What about you? Nope. All right, you do have exclusive you move user, but that's a, kind of a micromanaging thing I turn on when we're fighting a boss. Elsie would just keep using all of them. All of them? Uh, we're gonna go to Mount Bristle and probably die. Wait a minute. Need to check my items again. Not dead. Items. All right, let's see. Uh, definitely need to go turn my items back in, or else I would have just all of them. Uh, all of them, I'd be already done. I'd be gone. I'd, my, my bag would be too much. Kind of mean that I can't use gravel rocks and sticks for the recycle shop. They're like, nobody would want those. Me. I would love more rocks. Rocks are God. I would chug, like, seven smoothies before exams. I think that reminds me of, like... Like, it's not exactly it, but it reminds me of a side quest in the first Mass Effect game. Where there's this guy who's, like, using a certain, like, thing to, like, increase his, like, awareness or intelligence for, like, uh, business agreements. And the quest is just like, will you tell him to keep using the legal drug? Or will you tell him, hey, you should stop? <laughs> it's been a long time since I played the first Mass Effect game. I really enjoyed it. We shall annihilate you. Like the entire Mass Effect trilogy. I really like it. Oh, hey, an orange gummy. I think that's really good for... I think it's really good for funny types. I forget. Let me check. I'm not good with remembering things. In fact, remembering things, let's eat zinc. I think, uh, me. Me scared. I just realized, I think... I keep forgetting. Is dark type good against, like... Ba -ba -ba. Uh, fighting types, so yeah. But yeah, I keep forgetting, like, the typing chart arrangements for some Pokemon. So I'll go, like, wait a minute. Is Psychic good against Dark, or is Dark good against Psychic? I just keep forgetting. Congratulations, you've done no damage. Congratulations, you did one damage. Rock. Rock. Die, birdie. You're dead. Dark isn't good on fighting. Yeah, I think... I kind of gathered that, I think, from the... Buh, buh, buh. There was something. I think it was... The, oh, yeah, the Dusk Globe. The moment's like, by the way, this makes it so that fighting types do nothing. Nor is fire. Interesting. Well, I guess that kind of makes sense. The darkness is not good against the... Enlightenment. Damn you. But the more I play the Mystery Dungeon games, the more I'm just like, I wish that there was more games in the Mystery Dungeon world that weren't strictly Mystery Dungeon games. Like, I don't mind the roguelike dungeon crawling, but it would be very, very nice uh, if there was like, again, like a 3D beat-em-up. So it's still kind of dungeon crawly, but in a different, like, genre. You should be immune to poison moves. I highly doubt that, considering I keep getting poison powdered. And afflicted with poison. So maybe it, when it comes to actual poison moves, unless for some reason a poison powder isn't a poison move? I don't know. Maybe it's where the status effect can still be inflicted on you, 
up actual moves. Or maybe it's just a not very effective rather than immune. That could also be it. Sorry, Dudu. Oh, we do not want you. Every single floor is a nightmare. Remember to drink your tea as you climb a mountain. I feel like Pokin Tournament would be a uh, would have been a good idea if they executed it better. Maybe. I kind of enjoyed what I played from a uh, played of Pokin Tournament back on the Wii U. It's one of those games that I, I really like the concept of. But sadly having to pay for online kind of destroys the potential fun for me. Because that's the, I don't have anybody to play it with locally. And I think you even need online to play against friends. I don't know. I don't really have never really played much online games. With like actual people that I know. Mostly because back in the day I had really bad internet. And then for the most part, beyond that, I just haven't really had really much friends. So we'd like, ah, sit down, talk, play games. No, no, don't really have that kind of friendship. But such is life. But yeah, one idea that maybe... It would be interesting if Pokémon Tournament was more like a traditional... Ah, shit. Uh, outlaw. I'm going to... Did I get rid of my... No, no, here we go. I throw at you. Thank you. Wrong thing. I'm a fool. Get furied. We're, we're just Miss Central, aren't we? We are Miss Central, dear God! Would have been a perfect thing if it had an online. I think Pokémon Tournament uh, always had online. It's just the fact that... I don't know. But back to my thought before I got distracted. Is I think Pokemon Tournament would have been extra cool if it played like a normal Pokemon game. But it was like in a place like, ah, here in this blah 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 region, you only need your part your original partner Pokemon. And uh, then you like go through a normal Pokemon story. Like, maybe a Pokemon story revolving around Shadow Mewtwo. And you basically walk around the world, and when you get into a Pokemon battle, it's actually the Pokemon tournament fighting style. I think that would be a cool thing. Oh, Nintendo Land. I'm a fool. Nintendo Land would have been much better if it did have online. Because it was a co-op, or like, local co-op only, I believe. I skipped a part of the dialogue because I saw like I still got my old Wii U looked down for some reason thought that the next one was that part I am a fool I have reading comprehension how can you tell like I also have like so many Wii U games that I need to eventually play, which means plugging in my old Wii U. Like, um... Ah, what was it? Wind Waker HD, Twilight Princess HD, I need to get to them. The Star Fox game on Wii U. I know that it's, like, sold the worst out of all Star Fox games. Which is a little disappointing, but I want to give it a shot. I want to play it. And now I'm disappointed that I never played more Pokémon Tournament when I could, because, again, I do believe that now you require... Oh, hey, Rostberry! What does even Rostberry do? Does it, like, heals burn? Why is that so rare? And, of course, our, our client is running away like a fool. I nom on the Big Apple. I devour New York City. Get out of here. Get out of here! 
Now, where was I going? But yeah, like, if I... Like, if the Nintendo Online via seed... What's a via seed? Minimizes. Interesting. Does it act like a violent seed if you throw it at an enemy? Yeah, as I was uh, rambling. If it weren't for the fact that Nintendo Online costs money now, I would definitely pick up Pokémon Tournament in the DLC to play online more. Even if that does mean dedicating time to playing a fighting game and getting kind of good at it. But uh, sadly, paying for online is too rich for my blood. Just a little too much. Like, who knows, maybe I'll become super famous streamer, and then I'd be able to pay for online for things on the Switch. Then I could stream every day. And have, like, a poking tournament. I don't know. There's no day that starts with P. And then everyone can watch me get my ass handed to me. I'd like to play with you. I'm a sucker for casual fighting games. But then comes the thing, like, I, I don't know. <laughs> it's the same thing that I always wonder. It's just like, wait, if I have friends that own this game, uh, do I need the online to play with them? And I think the answer is yes, sadly. I think you need online to play with friends, because it's, like, kind of... Like, on the one hand, it's a bit mean, but on the other hand, it kind of makes sense, because it's still an online feature. It's like, I don't know. Because, like, there are plenty of people, I think, that would play a mostly online game, but only they'd only ever play it with friends so by making it so you need to pay for online to play with friends it makes it like less likely for people to come in and like buy the game because there's a secondary purchase on top get out of here we annihilate you. Note to self, stock up on sleep seeds for annihilation. <laughs> Pain. Pain indeed. Oh, no, I do not want to leave. I do not want to... I want to continue exploring, gathering items to then turn in at the recycle shop. But yeah, I would like... Yeah, who knows, maybe someday if I become famous stream, or at least if, like, Twitch bits pay for, like, online in the far-off future. Or maybe I explode by December, who knows. I might just pay for online to play, like, Smash Brothers and Pokémon Tournament and stuff on stream. That might be fun as a thing, maybe, in the future. But just as a small time, do this as hobby kind of person. Online is just too rich for my blood unless it's a free to play game. And then most of the free to play online games don't really appeal to me in a streaming sense. Because, like, streaming Overwatch 2 doesn't really appeal to me. Streaming League of Legends. Aha! It happened again! And again on Mount Bristle. Is Mount Bristle just cursed? I think Mount Bristle might be cursed. Luckily I made a save state. Aha! <laughs> Fool. Let's leave. I don't know what's with Mount Bristle. And it like rose. It's like 789. You brought Nidorina in for a rest. This is the bounty on this outlaw's head. Take this item for your reward. Wide Slash. Hey, isn't this... I think I've heard of this. This is one of those, I think, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon exclusive moves. Thank you for your cooperation. If I also remember, I think there's like a niche use to Wide Slash, or was it another one? 
Thank you for rescuing me. Please take all this money. And a poison jab. Neat. Maybe if we give it to Krogunk, he'll go assassinate Brock. Thank you for rescuing Tangla. Have my clear gummy. I no fucking clue why my my brain went to a weird place where basically it, my brain basically went in the dirty direction of like thank you for saving my friend would you like my schlong I don't know why this is the wrong genre for that you brought Surskit in for arrest this is the bounty on this outlaw's head Take this item as your reward. Silver Gummer. And experience points. <laughs> Apollo can learn that. No, wait, Silas! So <laughs> Someone gave me their kid. Oh yeah, because eggs are introduced in this one, isn't it, as well? Everyone, it's time for dinner. Yeah! Let's get... Everyone, hold up! <clears throat> Before we begin dinner tonight, I wish to make an announcement. Hey, hey, hey! We'll spit it out already! Let's eat! That, that is not the voice for Foudred at all. You prevent us from eating what's in front of us! This is an outrage! Hey, this is so unfair! I feel faint from hunger! Boo! Boo! Order! I must have order! <clears throat> I'm sure the selection of the expedition members has been on everybody's minds. Our guildmaster has apparently made his final decisions. Whoa! You'd think they'd do it at morning assembly. My golly, it's finally settled. The members will be announced at tomorrow morning's briefing, so you didn't even really need to bring this up. It's mostly just here to torture people. <laughs> Namely us. It's something to look forward to. Now, sorry to have kept you waiting. Without further ado, on your marks, let's eat! Munch, munch, munch. Just like, here, Yo-Yo and Paolo, here's my unborn child for you to be fathers. Ain't that just the way of the Pokemon world? Tomorrow they're finally going to announce the members of the expedition. I'm feeling sort of nervous. Yeah, I know Chadot said we shouldn't get our hopes up. After all, we didn't bring back any of those perfect apples that Wigglytuff loves so much. But after that, we did work really hard, didn't we? We've done the best we could, even if we don't get picked. I don't regret a thing. That's an adorable stretch animation. Ugh, I'm getting drowsy. Let's get some sleep. I'm looking forward to tomorrow's announcement. Okay, good night. Good night, Silas. Adorable. No regrets. Right. But if we're not chosen for the exploration party, Silas will be crushed. Silas is trying so hard. I hope Silas gets to go on the exploration. If we both get chosen for the expedition, that special ability I m have may be useful then. Come to think of it, I haven't had any of those dizzy spells recently. Well, to be fair, you haven't had anything important to do recently. I think it's a useful ability. But not being able to see those visions when I want to is frustrating. Thinking about everything too much will keep me from sleeping. I'd better get to sleep now, too. Good night, Silas. I hope you get chosen tomorrow. That's adorable. That our main our main character is more like, I hope my partner gets chosen more than I hope I get chosen. There it is. Another time gear. This is the second one. Three more time gears remain. I must have them. Coming off awfully ominous there, and you're just talking to yourself, Grovile. The next morning. Muppet Adam, it's morning! Uh, good morning, Neon. 
would you like to save your adventure? Yes, I do. But I do believe that that will be it for now. We've been going for two and a half hours, and this gives us the perfect ending, probably, because we'll be able to end and then begin next time going, who will go on the expedition? Yeah. So yes. And uh, I guess in the future we'll avoid Bristle Mountain? Be because the mountain is cursed, I guess? I guess? It's weird. I don't know. Maybe there's something weird with its spawn pool? Because it's only happened there, and we've gone through longer dungeons than it. So I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe it'll crash again, but who knows? We'll just have to go with the flow. So long as it doesn't happen on any story missions, I think we'll be fine. But yeah, again, having lots of fun with this. I really, really like that it's so much more story-based than Rescuers. Again, really do enjoy Rescuers. I enjoy the characters. The partner, while very basic, is still a nice emotional core. But the main characters here, the story here, it's just so good. I really should make the comic thing on the accident snipe. I say go for it, because even if you think your art isn't up to snuff, you just need to practice and get good. Don't be like me and be like, oh, I'll do it once I get good. No, you got to do to get good. So if you feel like it, I say do it. Sketch it out, have some fun. Maybe have a cutaway of your uh, shocked expression at murdering your best friend. And you're like, no! What have I done? And then I will try to work towards making the comic of Silas getting upsetty at Neon Re Zoroa holding a dust globe. Even if I don't currently have a dust globe to make it technically canon, I will work towards getting it once the lock boxes become available to unlock. Nah. But yeah, I li I really like just how much more story there is in this one compared to Rescuers. Because with Rescuers, it was mostly like, thing has happened, go do. And then you go to a dungeon and you do a thing. Yeah, I was like, I'll do it when I'm better for months. Yeah, and just like, you can't do that. Because if you do that, you'll never be good enough in your own mind. Because you'll reach a better level of skill. But then your brain will go, ah, but then you can get even better. You need to reach this unobtainable like mountain peak to do it like it was procrastination also that procrastination is evil for me it's like i want to do it but i don't but i do but brain will attack me but i want to do it it's like it's a, it's a whole thing but again to my point i really like just how how much more smooth the story is because like it's it's small things that's building up to more things and again like you throw in the little mini game of sentry duty and the outlaw notice board adds a nice spice to it where you can be like, oh, I'm going to fight a mini boss every time we go to a dungeon now. You can plan for it and do cool things. And just like, and Spindus Cafe, it's like, it's so good. They just added so much to this and I love it. And again, the story that it's building up and you're getting to know your character friend and also the fact that like the main character seems more active to a degree because it almost feels like in rescue team the main character only had sparse inner monologues where here it seems to happen a decent amount same time uh 5 p.m central standard on monday Monday next time at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, we will be trying to finish off Ace Attorney Trilogy. I think it's Justice for All. I think it is. We will finish investigating around the Hazakura Temple to find out what happened a bit more. Try to unlock that psych lock that is locking Maya in a cage, I think. And then we'll face Godot in in court again. Kind of sad that we don't get to play as Edgeworth all the way through. It would be amusing to see Edgeworth face Godot in court, but oh well. Uh, 
and Pokemon Mystery Dungeon on Wednesday. More Pokemon Mystery Dungeon on Wednesday, 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. But then I might just mellow out with Pokemon Mystery Dungeon as just the thing I stream all the time, Monday, Wednesday, Saturday. And then I might introduce uh, doing the post game for Pokemon Coliseum, maybe? Maybe? I want to do that. So we'll probably see about that. Just go... I'll go up the flow eventually. After I beat Ace Attorney. Then one time I might go, it's like, ah, we might either do more Mystery Dungeon or we'll do Coliseum. Who knows? But, yeah, next time, Monday, 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, Ace Attorney Trilogy. We'll see if we can finish it off, because I do believe... It depends if it goes on for another court thing and then another investigation, but I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to have to add a question mark to the finale on the stream thumbnail. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I really, I really, really like Mystery Dungeon. I just love it. I hope, like, again, I, I highly doubt we're ever going to get a Mystery Dungeon game that isn't in the Mystery Dungeon gameplay style. Because, like, I would love... A game that's just in this world of Pokemon. Maybe you're a, you're just a normal Pokemon, or maybe you're a human thrown in there, and it's not the normal Mystery Dungeon gameplay. And again, I highly advocate for, like, a 3D beat-em-up dungeon crawler. So it's still kind of, like, Mystery Dungeon-esque, but you sh it's a different gameplay style. And again, Brain also goes, And you should add the ability to marry your partner! Because... Hero X partner for life in all of them, I think. I've yet to... Then again, it's like, out of all the two Mystery Dungeon games that I have played, it is OTP. Maybe I'll play one of the other Mystery Dungeon games and go, oh dear god, no. But that is not this day. One thing I do in the main games is make references to previous teams of mine. That's always fun. Or a Mystery Dungeon reference. It is a fantastic feeling, isn't it? But yes, I do believe that that will be it for now. If you want more from me, dear viewers, you can find more from me through my link tree, linktr.ee slash neonicewings, with a direct link to it in pretty much any link holding place, like descriptions and bios. And it holds links to my edited YouTube channel, well, edited content YouTube channel. I swear, content is coming to it eventually. The brain is evil. Yeah. Where basically... Edited content, reviews, rambles, scripted videos, they all go there. If you want streams from me, I stream to Twitch at Neon Icy Wings and Neon Icy Games, the YouTube channel. And then if, and, oh yeah, and I stream on Monday, Wednesday, Saturday, 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. I'm trying to hold myself to a schedule this year. <laughs> and then, if you want to catch up on the streams of the past that I have done, you can find all the VODs uploaded to Neon Icy Games, the YouTube channel. So if you want to watch my M M Mass Effect playthrough, my Blue Rescue Team playthrough, my Kirby and the Forgotten Land playthrough, Undertale, and amount of games, Pokemon Coliseum, all of those are up, getting uploaded or already uploaded to Neon Icy Games, the YouTube channel. But if you want art from me, like my little character in the corner or the end screen that's going to come up, you can find me at various different art sites and social medias found through my link tree. And try to say something. I mean, a human who became a Zorark was an idea for me to have pretend to be a human. Well, that'd be cool. Like, role play as I'm a pretending to be human Pokemon trainer. That's, that, that, that's a neat idea. That'd be cool if it was an actual Pokemon game. It's like, you have to keep the disguise going or else you'll be outed. And then people will be mean. But, ba -ba. Uh, other things. And if you want to read some stories I have written and I'm going to write, I have a ton of ideas. Links to my writing resources can be found in my link tree, as well as a link to my Patreon. So if you are affluent and in the giving mood, you can throw a dollary do my way through my tipping jar Patreon to try and keep me warm in these cold, nightmarish days. But yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. And I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.